So today we are in Jaipur, which is a city here in the state of Rajasthan in India. And we're going out today for a bit of an explore. We have just got here. We are very excited to see what the place has to offer. There's a few different beautiful looking buildings that we know we definitely want to go check out. We're also going to get some food because we're pretty hungry. But currently we're actually in the wrong, state of, wrong side of the city for where we want to be. So our first mission is to go get a tuk tuk roughly about 4k to the area. We're hoping to spend the rest of the day. So let's get going. Chancers again. I'm going to go on a later on somewhere. I also have a helicopter. No, I'm okay. No helicopter. No more helicopter. I'm a later on, not now. Not now, not now. No matter how many times you confirm the price with your Toto driver before you get in, this has happened to us so many times, they're always looking just a little bit more money. But anyway, um, if you are getting a Toto or buying any street food, make sure to have small notes on you because a lot of the time they just don't have change. And if you're going to the ATM, they give out the notes in 500 rupees. So they're a bit of a disaster when you're going to street food, like vendors and tutus. So just a little tip. Beautiful. Beautiful. Have a good day, brother. <laughs> Home, man? Yeah, from Ireland. <laughs> Ireland, nice yeah. country, yes, good country. Is. This is more man. They treat them, all people, friends, music. Very nice sign. It sounds very good. This is different, different song. Very yeah. Good. What is I the name of the drum? This is Indian. Yeah. Dolog. 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 English name drums. Drums. Yeah. Drums. Dolog. I like Dolog. Ah. Oh. Wow. Dolog Hindi word or Hindi Indian Hindi name Dolog. I so Dolog is Hindi in, or uh, Dolog, is Hindi Dolog. word? Yeah, Hindi yeah. Hindi name Dolog. Dolog. Okay, okay. English uh, name from from Hindi. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Fireworks. Good, aren't they? Fireworks. For fire. Yes. Oh, okay. Where are you from? From Ireland. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Very good. Very good. Huh? I'm okay, thank you. Yeah, different. It is, it is. Very good. Here. What do you like? Yeah, yeah, very good. I'm okay, thank, thank you, you though. Uh, thank you. From Ireland. Yes, yes. You like photo? Okay, thank you. Very old camera. Hi, old. Yeah, 175 year old. Wow. This is German size lens. Wow. And they still work. Still working? Yeah. See. Oh wow, yes, yes. This is dark room developer and the fixer. Wow, I have never seen a camera this old. 175 years from Germany. From Germany? German. Size lens. Size lens. Size lens. Wow. This is photo. Like photo. Yeah, and positive. 
Wow, this is my grandfather camera. You from? Very beautiful. That was so cool. That man had the oldest camera I have ever seen. Still and maybe fully ever seen. Yeah, still fully functioning, working, taking pictures in the street there for people. You get like a wee old school Polaroid type of picture. It was only 300 that rupees for a wee small amazing. one if you did want it. That's made my day. I could go home happy after seeing that. That was honestly the coolest thing. Wicked man, wicked. Ooh, nearly got hit there with water. <laughs> that was so cool. I love seeing that. So Jaipur here is also actually known as the Pink City and for a pretty obvious reason a lot of the buildings in this area are like a pinky kind of colour or they were at a stage anyway. They're kind of more peachy now to be perfectly honest with you. but it's very cool this whole area. All of the buildings are the same colour, same kind of style. The architecture is incredible. It is just so so cool to see. So much detail and everything as well and it is proper ancient and really really old looking and it's just such a mighty place to walk around. It is chaotic however and you just have to watch everywhere you are going. Yeah. Hello. I did two more, two more. <laughs> and what is this one? Kachura. Kachura? Like fruit? Okay, it's okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, we picked ourselves a few wee snacks. We got a few samosas there at the side of the road, and these are the cheapest ones we've got yet. They were five rupees each. Samosa. Unbelievable. Samosa. He's like, yeah, samosa, samosa, samosa. <laughs> Go on, buddy. You can make it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Go on. Go on. Way. The monkeys here in the city are so so big, they're so crazy and I'm kind of a little bit scared of them because like if they look at you the wrong way, their teeth come out and they make the weirdest noises and I don't want to be anywhere near them. <laughs> no, they are vicious. <laughs> Monkey attack! <laughs> oh, Ashley enjoying her samosa there. <laughs> Samosa's up. to our next stop off and when I say kind of it's because it's across the road we have just come to Hawa Mahel which is this beautiful building behind me and it is really famously known for its beautiful architecture and it is stunning to look at but we were across the road looking up at it and you didn't get much of a view so we have come across the street and there are loads of different coffee shops that you can go into so we've grabbed ourselves a wee coffee and we're just enjoying it all from here and watching the chaos unfold from below us cheers That was lovely, but now it is time to get back down to the street and back down to the chaos. <laughs> you make? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Sharp. sharp? No sharp. Oh, like not sharp. Wow. That's great. Amazing, thing. amazing. Look at the cover and everything for Yeah, it. yeah. Beautiful, that. Ah, really beautiful. And you make on this or? Sharpness. Yeah, yeah sure, for sharpening. Yeah, yeah, that's for sharpening. So a wee motor over there. Yeah, yeah. How good do they smell? They're so good. They smell amazing. I love chilies. Something that we have found so so funny all over India is people sleep. People sleep absolutely anywhere. It doesn't matter what position they're in, they're sitting, they're standing, they're leaning up against something. And we don't just mean like people that are like sitting at the side of the road, don't have anything to do. People at work, we go into shops and there's ones like the man at the counter will be sitting sleeping. Yesterday we seen a security man standing, leaning up against the railing, completely out cold and it is just the funniest thing it gets me gives me such a good laugh and we do stand around and watch them for a while and they're out like properly out for the car too <laughs> so we just bought some bananas off this lovely man and now he wants a photo smile photo time <laughs> <laughs> 
Austin's got a new yeah. job here. <laughs> How are you serving? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you've got a wee job here, Ashlyn. <laughs> Go on. Where's the lovely lady going the monster bananas? I don't know. Have a good day. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we got some bananas on a job. And we got four bananas for 20 rupees as well. Not too bad, well, not too bad. so nice. Oh, there's the banana gears come back. <laughs> he can serve her now. <laughs> this guy is king of the road. Owning it. He doesn't care at all. Not one bit bothered. <laughs> coming to India we actually knew that cricket was huge here but we see it all the time anytime we walk through a park or any bit of an open space there's so many people gathered around playing cricket in this whole park there's just people playing cricket everywhere I feel like I have to kind of watch in case the ball comes at me though <laughs> hello do you want photo <laughs> Ah, <laughs> beautiful. You are a good cricket player. Good cricket. <laughs> Photo shoot time. Oh, loads. <laughs> What's it like to be famous? Well, you know, it's hard work. <laughs> well, she was lovely about it though. I don't mind when people come up and like, can I have a photo with you? But when people just like pull your shoulder and like, photo, you know, I'm not going to get a photo with you. Yeah, be nice about it and we'll take photos. Not a bother. <laughs> <laughs> Matters goes a long way. A long way. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, that was the most disgusting thing. <laughs> we were literally just walking down the street and a guy, we were in the footpath kind of area. And a guy just goes like this here and kind of said, like, you know, move over. And in the middle of the path was this big, nasty. fat, nasty looking snake. It, oh, it looked like it a was... huge slug. It was real slimy looking, oh. so thick. So nasty, not so it. nasty, Owen man. does not like snakes. I hate snakes. Snakes are my number one, like, absolute hate. They are just the, oh, they're the most disgusting thing. I just hate them so much. But we think it mustn't be a normal thing for snakes to be about here because no. the traffic just stopped. Everybody people, stopped for photos. Yeah, everyone pulled in. Like, yeah, yeah. Full traffic jam. Everyone's getting photos, videos of it. And, and then, then a guy lifted it. A guy came and lifted it off the footpath, brought it over, and put it into like the side. Uh, and it just oh, I was gonna say slithered. I can't even say the word slithered. Just literally went oh, you dirty bugger. It went into like a hole in the ground. And then another guy that had stopped to take photos always told us it's a, a sand burrow. A sand burrow. Yeah, I think right. it is. I can't remember fully. A sand something. So it's a snake fine, that lives in the dangerous. sand. He said it's not venomous, not dangerous, but it was way too close for my liking. They are rank. But that is the first snake we have seen since coming to India. So we haven't done too bad because we know there is snakes about everywhere. But I didn't really expect to see it in the city crawling off through. <laughs> off Jaipur, yeah, just crawling through the streets. So there you go. Nasty. Masala Chak food court. It was like a 15 minute walk roughly from where we were at in the city earlier. It was actually a lovely wee area. We read online it's like one of the main places to come check out for like selection of food here in the city. So we have come in. I've got myself a, what's it called? A pod budgie. <laughs> we actually had this when we were in Manali at the start of our India trip and it was really, really good. And then I also got myself a lassi, which we've had quite a few times. They're also really good. They're like a real yogurty kind of creamy drink. When they come this way, like clay baker, Ashley's away to get something. I don't know, so I'll wait and see. 
And then I think after this we're going to be going to call it a day. We're getting a wee bit tired, getting a wee bit kind of sweaty and we're going for a bit of a rest. So yeah, we're going to enjoy these and then call it a day. Hey, what did you get? I got a mango shake and then they no. put a big blob of mango ice cream in it. Oh wow, it. that looks really Look good. Look at that, I'm buzzing. Literally, I was like, oh I need something refreshing, I'll go for a mango shake. And then he takes it over and bloop, bloop. in some ice cream. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> Okay, so that is us finished up. We are full now, for now anyway. <laughs> and we have had a great day just walking around Jaipur, exploring the streets. It's been seeing, lovely, yeah. yeah seeing it's been all really the nice. shops and all the different things on the roadside. Yeah, this is our first place we have stopped up in Rajasthan, but we're going to be visiting a few other places in this state, which we are very, very excited about. So we really hope that you continue to follow along on our journeys and our adventures in India. We'll see you later. Bye! Bye. <laughs>